We're here at the BASF Innovation Symposium in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. With me is Brianne Reeves, and she's going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the great root growth that we're seeing with the uh, with the fungicides, with the BASF fungicides, uh, the first with uh, Preaxor. Go ahead and tell us, Brian. Yes, so we have our aquarium experiment here, and uh, you might think that we grew these hydroponically, um, <laughs> but actually these, uh, these plants were grown in a greenhouse in a very sandy soil mix, and uh, these, the ones that you're focusing in on now are the Preaxor treated plants, and they received four ounces of Preaxor, a foliar application, um, about three weeks ago, and uh, uh, a couple days ago, we pulled these plants out of their pots and washed the roots, put them in these aquariums uh, to view, and you can see the incredible difference uh, between the untreated check and uh, the preaxor. And one thing that I, I like to note is that when you bend down and you look, you can see all the way through the, the untreated check uh, oh, yeah. aquarium, mm -hmm. but when you go over to the preaxor side, there's so many secondary roots and those minor fibrous roots that uh, it's almost impossible to see all the way to the back of the tank. That's very impressive. Yes. And we see that's very important for uh, nutrient uptake and, uh, and uh, obviously water uptake. Mm -hmm. And we also have the, the same experiment over here with cotton. These are cotton roots uh, where we have untreated and then with headline. And again, with the headline treatment, we see... Um, we see a more root mass with, with our plant health fungicides on cotton as well. Okay. And over here. So this is a, another root experiment, uh, what we call our root plug experiment. And uh, with these, uh, we, have, we have three different crops. We have canola, pepper, and peas. And it's just an example of how this increase in root growth uh, with these plant health fungicides happens on more than just corn and cotton like we showed before. Uh, so these plants were just planted in little uh, transplant, transplant uh -huh. trays and uh, applied with our Preaxor at four ounces about two weeks ago. Uh -huh. And this is the resulting root growth. Yeah, especially this one. The yeah, the peas, uh, we see that, that pea responds very, very well. Uh -huh. Okay. And then we will move on to an infarrow experiment that our biology group conducted. Uh, this, these are corn roots that you're seeing here, and hmm. uh, they were treated, we have untreated, and then a headline infro treatment and a preaxor infro treatment. And uh, one thing I have to note is that currently preaxor fungicide is not currently registered for infro use, uh -huh. uh, but because this is research, we can show it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can see the difference between the untreated uh, and the headline, and then a step above uh, headline, we see Preaxor and the advanced plant health benefits with growth efficiency that we see with, with Preaxor. For sure. I see that. Now this one's really interesting because this actually came out of the field, right? Yes. This is the, the fourth and final demonstration where uh, we actually have uh, some roots that were dug from an on-farm demo. And we have the untreated roots here on the left. And the then the treated with headline amp on the right. <laughs> and it's it's amazing to me to see the difference between these roots and how many brace roots there are and the fibrous roots uh, with the headline treated amp, or headline amp treated uh, corn here. And another thing, I don't know if you'll be able to get it on video, is if you look at the, the tops of the stems, so there's the mm -hmm. untreated, um, you can see kind of how they're a little bit hollowed out. Right. And then when you look at the, the treated, you oh, have yeah. you have a full, a full stem there, which is uh, just a great example of our or increased standability. All right, very good. Headline amp. All right, thank you very much, Brian. Here uh, in, on Fort Lauderdale yes. Beach, at the BASF Innovation yeah. Symposium. I'm Cindy Summerman.